Hey guys, it's Navernus Twisty Puzzle here, and this video I have an unboxing from Methods.com. Okay, so this is what I got. So yeah, um, it's just this is like the shipping information and stuff, obviously. Yeah, whatever. So yeah, this is what I got, guys. I got some really cool puzzles. So, I got the Pyraminx Duo. Yes, you guys, it is back in stock. You guys didn't know. It came out in 2015, but Method Puzzles don't really have a good stock. So, yeah, I got the Method Pyraminx Duo. It is back in stock, but probably not going to be back in stock for long. So, I would recommend getting it now before it runs out, before they run out again. And I found out that it came back in stock because of Jared Keeper's video. Uh, when he unboxed the Pyraminx Duo from Methods.com. I mean, you guys are just the extra stickers for here. I want to put them on for the gear pyraminx. Okay, yeah. Let's just start with the gear pyraminx. But uh, actually, I'll just take both out. You're just going to fall out anyway, so. Yeah. So, first, let's start off with the gear pyraminx from Mefferts. Okay, so. The turning is stiff. And it turns like this. So, yeah. And the act. Um, it's not. Uh, it's not the. It's out of stock on the cubicle. I didn't want to get the Hishu one because, or one of the off-brand ones because th they're just not good. So I figured I'd get this one from Effort because I saw it available on Mefferts.com when I went to order the Pyramid Duo because I found out. Wait, is I can stock? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, 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 good. When like going, it's kind of locked up there. I saw that. Yeah. This is cool. It's actually pretty stiff. I didn't expect it to be stiff, and I thought it would turn, like, through the whole thing. But, yeah, it's only, like, this layer. Yeah. So, I wonder how hard this will be to solve, and how hard it will be to solve when I add on these things in the middle. But first, I'll start with it like this. So, yeah. And I'll leave a link to buy... The Pyramid's Duo in the description, maybe this one. I'll leave the link to buy it in both colors. I'm just saying the Pyramid's Duo because it's, like, rare. I also just leave the link to buy it in white because Jared Huber already has the link to buy it in black. And on on his video, on his unboxing of it, and, like, I don't really need to leave the link to that because it's Jared Huber. And you probably know who he is. You probably watch his videos. Like, I don't know of any Cubers who don't know who Jared Huber is. So, yeah. Now, let's move on to the Pyraminx Duo. So, here we have the Pyraminx Duo. Yeah, yeah, this always turns a lot better. I was I saw it in Jerry Cuban's unboxing. It's very trivial. It is very trivial. It only takes a total of four moves to solve it. It's always four moves away from the solve position or less. So, yeah. No, it doesn't have any uh, corner cutting. So, yeah. I mean, like, it would kind of be cool for this to be in the WCA, but it's pretty trivial. However... Um, the beginning method is like eight moves or less. The 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 intermediate is um six moves or less, and the advanced is four moves or less. I saw a level one three tutorial on them. So yeah, it was a while ago, so I kind of forgot. Like obviously, I still can solve it. Like you see, I just accidentally solved it in a certain early. I'm saying like to solve it like advanced. Yeah, but the reason why this the reason why this is WCA is like. Like, it's just because of what it is. Like, they wouldn't make this WCA. They're not going to make something else WCA. Yeah, I saw them in three moves. It's very trivial. Very trivial. It's basically a James Pyraminx without the edges. So, yeah. And you guys saw my unboxing of this. This is my previous unboxing on my channel. You have the Shane Shaw Master Pyraminx that I unboxed. It's actually pretty easy to solve. So, yeah. I'll leave the link in the description to Lego Boy D3's tutorial on how to solve this. And there's no parity. You can't switch these two edge pieces. So, yeah. And I might also link, leave the link in the description to Jerry Hewer's unboxing of this from, like, oh, from, like, the end of 2016. I don't know. Yeah, but this is basically a Jinx Pyraminx without, um, edges. Yeah, this is a Jinx Pyraminx without edges. And this actually is, is like a Jinx Pyraminx, but you can also turn it here, too, because if you just do it like this, it's actually Jinx Pyraminx moves. So, yeah.
Okay, so yeah, yeah, that is really trivial. Very trivial. You don't have to do three slow charms. You don't have to worry about messing up the edges. You only were it's just tender. Like, this is this is the most trivial puzzle ever. No, not the most trivial. The most trivial is of course on Paraminx because it's more trivial than the the rug the one by one cube or the one by one Mega Minx. Because, well, the kill Minx actually. I'll leave the description link in the description to why I call this the kill Minx and why I call the two by two version the Kibby Minx and why the four by four is a Medi Minx. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, I'll leave the link in the description to the video about it. So yeah, this is more trivial than this or this because. Well, technically, they're all just as trivial, but this only has four faces, so you had to choose which one was trivial, well, most, most trivial about them. Yeah, this is the smaller size of this one. So, yeah, if you had to choose which one is the most trivial, you would obviously choose this one because it has the least amount of faces, even though none of them have any axes of turning. So, yeah. Okay, so. See? This. Wait, what? Wait, what? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's actually, there's actually had to check for this, it's just this. Yeah. So it's awesome that I have a Pyramid Steel now. And get the, and get one before they go out of stock again. Yeah. So, yeah, this is, this is very easy to solve, though. Let's see. Let's do this. This. Like, like, this is three moves. It's so easy. It's trivial. You just had to do a non cuber and almost like solve it. Yeah. It's, it's trivial. It's literally trivial. And I think, oh, well, well I tried like a two by two. I couldn't solve it. No, this is trivial. Like, this is so trivial. It's like, it takes like four moves to solve. Like, look, I'm just like moving it around randomly and then it's going to, it's going to solve itself. Just look, just like watch. It, it's going to solve itself. So, yeah. It's about to solve itself pretty soon. It should solve itself. It's very trivial. Extremely, extremely trivial. Or even you get it so that there's like one move left. I don't know if you were to do it if there's one move left. It's like not hard. Yeah, it's extremely trivial. Very trivial. One of the most trivial puzzles ever. Aren't you, I think, the octahedron version? It's still out of stock. The octahedron version of this. Which isn't actually really trivial, I guess. Yeah. Whatever. This is back in stock, so get it before it runs out. And once it runs out, it will not be good because, yeah, you have never pulled go out of stock easily. And, and they don't have good stock, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's how I got lucky. But if you just mess around with it for a while, it should eventually solve itself. Because it, it is very trivial. We're showing the solve it's easy. You just line up the tips and then you just do sledgehammer. Easy. So yeah. So guys, that's it for the video. And the next video will be another unboxing from the cubicle.us that will also have four puzzles, just like the previous one did. So that's it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in my next video, which is an unboxing from the cubicle.us. And Bye!